Hello everyone, this is Shishi coming to you today with a tutorial on how to make a gift card holder. The gift card holder, it looks like this. Uh, I did make something similar to this the other day, but the, the gift card holder, it actually has some slots inside and I just want to show you how to make that. What I'm using today is the We Are Memory Keepers Envelope Notcher. I'm in the process of cleaning up and organizing my craft room, but I keep finding things that I forgot I had and I have not really used or got my money's worth out of the supplies that I've purchased. So I'm kind of getting sidetracked and organizing. So I just thought I would come on and share with you some things that I've come up with during the course of organizing. So I just want to share with you that. So here's the gift card that I have and I just want to show you that it slides in just fine. And here is the card that I created the other day with the envelope with with the alphabet punch board, not envelope. This is the envelope notcher. But if you have this in your stash and you haven't really used it like me, I'm going to show you how you can get some use out of it if you don't own the alphabet punch board. Maybe you just make cards. This is how you can utilize this tool and use it as a gift card holder. So I'm going to show you how to use that. Um, also, I wanted to show you that if you don't use it as gift card holder, you can put pictures inside. This is a picture of my daughter when she was younger, about two years old and you can slide a wallet size picture inside. You can make this any whiff you like, but for this video, just as an example, I'm just gonna slide a picture in. It's about the same width as a gift card. And uh, what I, my thought process was if you had a new baby and you wanted to send out birth announcements, you could, you know, put the little picture inside the little window and show the baby's face and then birth weight and so on inside. But that's my thought process behind making the little notches on the inside to slide photos in. So I just wanted to show you how to utilize this tool if it's collecting dust in your craft supplies. So I'm gonna get started with that. And what you'll need for this project is to cut your paper at two and a half inches by three and a half inches okay and I'm also going to finish out my tutorial I did not show everyone I just kind of gave instructions on how to uh, do the other part of the tutorial on how to create the B on the other side so I'm going to show that really quickly so I have my alphabet punch board out and to finish it off to create the other B on the other side all you would do is just take the cardstock inside on the other side give it a punch like that and it's starting to form the letter B you would take this cardstock go down at the bottom punch and use the corner rounder give it a punch then go to the the bottom part of the card and then give it another punch and then you have the shape of the B and that's without punching the holes and then it's shaped like the letter B and then you have your shaped card so I'm going to take that away now that I've punched out the B and I've embossed the uh, texture with stars like if you have a little newborn girl and you want to send some cards Okay, to make your gift card holder, it's very simple to use this tool. What you'll need is the cardstock to be cut at two and a half inches by three and a half inches. I drew a line to help with my guide. So I used washi tape to stick down my cardstock to keep it from moving when I magnetize the little notcher. So I'm just going to stick this down. Now the line just helps me understand where my cardstock is but really all I'm going to focus on is this bottom notch and to help me I just make sure my cardstock meets up with the bottom part of this little 
notch right here that it punches through. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see where I'm pointing. Okay. Right here is where I'm pointing. The bottom part right here and right here is where I'm going to make sure my cardstock edges with. Okay. As long as you edge right there, it will give you a perfect punch every time. So that's where I'm going to stick my cardstock right there. I'm going to zoom out so that you understand where I'm punching. And then after I punch, I'm going to flip the cardstock because that's the only notch you need to focus on. You don't need to focus on this part, just the bottom one. And that way you have a perfect punch every time. And then all you have to do is make sure that the bottom it shows bottom every time when you magnetize the notcher. So, let's see, I think it's centered. If it's not, it will still hold your gift card holder. So, it's magnetized. I'm going to give it a punch like that. And see, it's not, it hasn't punched through. I'm going to take the washi tape off. Okay, now I'm going to flip the card line it up again with that edge like that Let's see if I can center it just a little bit more so it matches up with the bottom one tape it down so that it doesn't wiggle when I magnetize it like that and give it a punch like that and it didn't punch through my paper we can test it out with the gift card. Slide the gift card in like that. And it holds just fine. So that is how you make it. And it should hold a photo fine also. Like that. See? Okay, so I'm going to zoom out now, and we're just going to glue in our piece, and I have a, you can, you know, stamp something like hold photo, um, place photo here, so I'm going to ink up my stamp with some ink. Like that. I'm going to give that time to dry. And then we're going to glue this in to the card. Get some glue. Gonna give this a little bit of glue. Okay, it fits just fine. Sorry if I'm out of frame. So it fits perfectly in the B holder or gift card holder or photo holder. <laughs> so I'm going to slide my picture in again. Like that. Then you have your baby or child peeking through the little window. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful for you. Here's the other one that you can put a gift card in and I just stamped just for you inside. 
So I hope you found this helpful and you will utilize your envelope notcher to make some gift card holders. You can, you know, use it along with the We Are Memory Keepers Alphabet Punch Board or just regular cards. It doesn't necessarily have to be that tool uh, if you have this in your collection. So take care everyone and have a fabulous day.